Hey alright guys, Drifter Critical here today with we're back with Season 3, Episode 6 of Scam. So, the drama has immensed, um, Isaac's truth is out, uh, yeah, and Isaac's little breakdown, the little tearful breakdown at the end was pretty sad actually, when he was there on a street corner. I guess not everyone knows yet, depends how much it spreads. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes and how him and Eve, Evan are going to develop now. Evan will still talk to his ex. So I assume that he has told her, but she seems pretty chilled with it. I don't know. Um, we need to learn more. I need to know what's going on there. Because he, he did he kiss her? He kissed her on the lips. So I don't I don't know what's going on there. So I'm curious to see more of that this episode. Hopefully Evan's going to be all right. Um, I really, really enjoyed the conversation between Evan and Eskil. Um, last episode of... Not Evan and Eskil. Um, Isaac and Eskil. Last episode, I think that was a really, really good conversation. Um, hopefully he can fix that friendship there. Yeah, that was uh, not a subject I thought to touch on. But other than that, I actually really just want to jump into the episode. Um, yeah, if it's... I really enjoyed the subject touched on of of the beat, of the acting as people people do say it, I have noticed people, how he's that was putting it when it's just like no he's just being himself it's not an act or being it's like that's 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 a skill um, so yeah that was pretty interesting um, for, for thoughts on that I did put I even paused the episode last episode to talk about it because I thought it was a good subject I think um, overall season season's been good sad to see it's only ten episodes and not twelve like the other one like last season I would have had this would be twelve but we're gonna see how it's gonna keep going so far very strong season I'm actually really really enjoying it um, I thought it was gonna be over hyped but no it's been perfectly solid I can see why people love it but guys hopefully you enjoyed the reaction if you do leave a like subscribe let's jump into this bad boy let's go block on Whoa. Oh, that sweet little boy. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. This is a good season. Can we see where this episode goes? Wait, why is it's getting the badass feet? Well, it's not. I thought it would have been hit hiding for a bit. Oh, that interrupted the badass march. <laughs> what a way to cut off the bat! <laughs> oh. Oh. Talk to you, bro. <laughs> what conversation to be affecting you right now as well? <laughs> No, the conversation was hitting home. Nine of them. Hit them. Oh. 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 <laughs> I don't know about the like, whoa, calm down to that, cutie. That means you can't give up on Evan, mate. I love, it. I love little details like that. Oh, it's so, little details like that are so good, I'm sorry. His friend's going to come in, just like dropping him. Man, uh, ah, <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Ah, oh, that hurts. I'm going to be able to get a bill. I'm going to be able to get a bill. I'm going to be able to get a <laughs> this fucking dog. She's always so intense. I think it's the one from season one or two. Isaac, hvor lenge har du slitt med søvn? Um, det har vært en stund, egentlig. Men det har vært verst de siste ukene. Sånn, sist natt så sov jeg kanskje en time. Ja. 
Du vil henvise deg til buffet. God, I can't, I can't live without f- at least five hours sleep. Det betyr at du skal få snakke med noen. Hvert et menneske er en øy. Og den eneste broen over de andre er via ord. Og så lenge vi ikke snakker sammen, så blir vi bare ensomme små øyer som er rusa på piller, akkurat som i pizza. Du skjønner hva jeg mener? Nei. Nei. Det skjønner jeg, for der rota jeg inn et dikt av Inger Hagrup, så det kan ikke helt få grep, men på ingen er at du kan ikke begynne å isolere deg. Alt er vanskeligere alene. Du. Du har ikke noen i livet du kan preke litt med. Nå er det deep. Øh, det er så funnig. Talk to Jonas! He's like, he's like the least judgmental person. He's like your best friend for years. He'd be like the best, the, the optimal person to talk to. Øh... Uh, da tenkte jeg bare å stikke hjem. Hva om deg? Chat! Come on! Build that bridge! Don't be a lonely island! Ok, Bob. Jeg har penger. Ja... Ja, sure. Hvem sier vel nei til kebab? He's not wrong. Oh, mate, I want a kebab now. Fuck. <laughs> what have you done to me? <laughs> oh, don't eat the kebab in front of me as well. That looks like a chip goat, not a kebab. It's nice seeing the goat just hang out. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Du vet, um... Okay, okay. Jeg tenker jeg må... Oh, please guess, Jonas. You'll make this so much easier. I can't, though. Ooh. Nei, 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 nei. It was you, technically. Vi må bare si det, da. I don't know why I didn't actually... Jeg er helt totalt ure. I didn't like the fact that when he said it's not a girl, he didn't have any reaction, he just sort of continued like he was continuing before. Jonas is a lad. Nei, ikke sånn, da, men... Nei, det er ikke deg. Er det han... Er det han fra Revigrobat til Ilm? Bildet? Mate, I just gained like, so much respect for Jonas. To say I'm not, I want in season one, I wasn't a massive fan of his character. No, I really like that reaction. That reaction was so well done. I just like the fact he didn't, like, I, I was expecting to have some reaction there, but no, he just carried on like it was, no, like it was like normal, like like as it should be. It should be like, what's the difference if he says gay or guy? It's just like I like the. Me, Jonas is a lad. Even though I, I knew Jonas was like this from the last conversation I had when Isaac was um, being a bit of an ass at the dance routine club thing and then Jonas stuck up for the guy um, stuck up for the <coughs> I forgot what it was but he, he stuck up for he, he went against Isaac which was really good at that time so hey, respects to Jonas yeah oh did he slip in a night yeah would that what did Evan do? Keys with that. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> How did you draw that so quick? What the fuck? How do you even stick that in? Okay, that was... <laughs> Evan, player. He needs to break up with his girlfriend. See, I thought he did break up with her, but then it's a question. Because how does Emma know if they didn't break up? See, that's the only thing that's confused me a tiny bit. That was a really fucking good episode. The only thing that really confused me there is that how did Emma know about 
is that being gay if he didn't break up with her because surely she would have told her unless something else happened that was a fantastic episode that was such a good like coming out scene to your friend that was so well done I'm so glad they don't try and be like sometimes I expect this series to be a lot more melodram like melodramatic like over dramatic about things whereas I always re I always like it when it's like done like that when it's more chilled so I always assume it's going to be dead dramatic about it but it's not um, and I actually like a more chilled approach like that I love the fact that he just literally like said like I'll give you a hint it's not a girl and then they're just like the fact Jonas doesn't even like change he just carries on his thought process like a good friend should and it's just like I love a little I love moments like that where it just made it so chilled and not over the top um, really good moment love the little bit adding the letter in as well and him getting a phone call and a letter it's just little details like that like I keep saying in the show little things like dropping your coins um, a phone call why someone's instead of everything just talking and say pulling out the note and it doesn't make sense having a Jonas take a phone call and then him pulling out the note perfectly well done like I said with the dropping the coins he's in this like tense atmosphere at the moment with a friend who he's argued with next to him but then he's like drops some coin it's just like little I just love little bits like that it's just so very well thought out, I think. It's like, not a lot of shows show that little habits. And I didn't expect this from a show like Scam. Like, normally, I expect that from, like, normally I'm all, maybe, I don't know. Not, I could probably, you could probably argue Scam isn't a teen drama, I guess. I can see what Joe means when he says it's not a teen drama fully. But it is, if you know what I mean, because it's about teenagers. But, yeah, no, I love little details like that. Um, fantastic scene at the end. Uh, I think that was a fantastic, really well paced episode. I really enjoyed a little bit of him and Nora in the room as well. That little bit with the, uh, the awkwardness of him running into Evan, then not talking to Evan. Obviously, gave him a note, and that's cute. Really good episode. You know what, Scam? You're doing a really good job for season three. I actually think I'm already. I'm, I'm really actually really enjoying. It. This has got potential to be my favourite season. If they nail the next few episodes, um, I just think the story, the story and writing in this season is fantastic so far. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you do, leave that like, subscribe, and hope to see you in the next one. Peace.